Welcome to Nollywood Radio France. I'm your host Cyprian Josom. Today we bring you African news. Please stay with us. A law permitting men in Kenya to marry as many wives as they want was signed into law on Tuesday by President Uhuru Kenyatta, despite criticisms from women's groups. The bill has been decried by many civil groups, including National Council of Churches in Kenya and Federation of Women Lawyers. Now comes Africa News Food for Thought. Be Yourself, hosted by one of our Facebook friends. Prove yourself to yourself by hitting that target you set for yourself. Others will marvel when you do this. It is difficult but easy. It requires faith, consistent trial and sincerity of purpose. Above all, in the midst of your hard work, pray for good luck. This is important. Some don't believe in good luck. But I know there is element of good luck in all things. Do not labor all your life trying to prove yourself to others. You may never impress people. They may see abundant nonsense in your sense. You are you. You can never be someone else. Be yourself. You've been listening to Africa News on Nollywood Radio France. Thanks for listening. You are listening to Nollywood Radio France. I'm your host, Cyprian Jerson. Now we bring you the editor's picks of the week. When do you think it's okay for a woman to divorce her husband? I don't think it's okay for a woman to divorce his husband. Why? Because the Bible is, is against it. What if he's cheating on her? It's because the children is involved, he should bear it and take care of the children. But they were here on the island and are going to be asking women when they should leave their husband or when they think it's the right time for a woman to leave her husband. Because she divorce her husband. Yeah, to divorce her husband. Because infidelity and cheating duties is not really accepted in the midst of Nigeria women. When do you think it's right for a woman to divorce her husband? Never. She shouldn't divorce at any cost. Even if he's beating her, cheating on her. Yeah, yeah, there's always a solution to a problem, and divorce is not one of the solutions to marital problems. Are you married? No. If you get married and your husband is beating you, he's cheating on you, yeah. would you divorce him? I won't divorce him. Even if he has girlfriends out there to God, so help me touch him so that he will come to his senses. Who divorce us? I won't divorce them. Seriously? Yes. When do you think it's okay for a woman to divorce her husband? Uh, it's only when the man is always beating the wife, the woman. So beating the, the, the wife, not really when he, she, cuts, she cuts the man with a, another lady. So if she catches the woman, the man with another lady, she shouldn't leave? No. Every man does it. Every man is a child. Yeah. So you would stay if a man is cheating on you? Yeah, it will change one day. Definitely change one day. But if he's beating you, you won't take it? No, that's not good. <laughs> <sighs> you have heard her. She would stay if he's cheating on her. I think infidelity now is accepted in the midst of women. It is not like a normal thing. Let her, if they are cheating on your sister, would you let her stay in the marriage? No. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'll stay. I don't know. But if it's between me, I will hire hire assassins to kill him for me. <laughs> Please, now, when do you think is the right time for a woman to divorce her husband? Anyway, let me just say, I'm not yet married, I'm a single lady. But uh, let me just get a little experience. A woman needs a, a woman needs to divorce the husband when maybe she called her husband getting adultery with other women. It's possible because it is it's in the Bible says so you have to be divorced. You think if a man should cheat on a woman, yes. she should divorce him? Yes, exactly. You will do that? I will do that. It's in the Bible. When do you think it's okay for a woman to divorce her husband? Never. Hmm? Even if he's beating her? He... well, when he's beating her, she can just stay away for a while until they get whatever is the cause of the beating sorted, you know? But 
Well, I'm a Christian, I'm a, and I'm talking from a Christian's point of view that it's not right to be divorced. Because divorce doesn't just hurt you, it hurts the children and other parties that are involved. What if he's cheating? Well, you will know why, he, you ask why he's cheating. But you won't go because he's cheating? I won't go. I won't. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We have seen again that it is acceptable for men to cheat. Women have come to terms with it. It is no longer a big deal. And I am sad. I am very, very sad. I'm going to be asking a few people these questions. And let's see, maybe there is somebody out there that will say, No, I will leave him if he goes. I want that kind of answer. When do you think it's okay for a woman to divorce her husband? Well, personally, I don't think a woman should divorce her husband. Why? Well, she should have known what she was going into when she was going to marry the guy. She should have known the pros and cons. She should be aware and ready for whatever comes in the marriage. Change is constant. What if he, along the line, he just changed? Well, she exchanged vows, so she should have to live with him. She exchanged her vows for better, for worse, so I mean... She, she stay beating her. Yes, obviously. She better just poison his food, but not leave the husband. <laughs> she has a solution here. Poison is food, but don't leave it. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Seriously. Rat poison. I can recommend. <laughs> <laughs> so if you love him and he's cheating on you, you will stay. I might stay. As far as he's taking good care of me. As in financially. Yes, and he's giving me everything I want. And if he has concubines, you don't mind? I don't mind. <laughs> well, I don't think it's right because um, biblically, I don't. I think it's wrong, but you know, except for the case of um, assault, like if he beats her all the time, and um, if he has another numerous concubine, like if he has another wife somewhere or something, like cheats on her. So you think if your husband cheats on you or beats you, you would leave him? Well, <laughs> well. Beating, especially, I would say, is the most, is the highest I can take. I can't take but beating. But cheating on you, like he has maybe one or two <laughs> girlfriends, like... Well, you would talk about it, because if you want to look at the way things are now in Nigeria, it's becoming a norm, because people think it's okay for the man to be promiscuous. But we'll talk about it, you should know your stance, and if he wants to, you know, we want to come to an understanding and agreement, which is, of course, he has to, like, you know, end it and we we'll have to work on our marriage and see how it grows, then fine. So it's a normal thing now? In Nigeria, it is a normal. I'm not saying I accept that. Of course, I don't accept it, but, you know, it's something that we all have to work on. It. You are one of the few women that have said you would leave if there was one cheat on them. Every woman now. No, I'm not saying it's wrong. I said we'll talk about it. But we'll you will still, it out. But you still yes. be there. We'll work it out, but the highest is the beating. I can't take if a man is being violent. I can't stand it. So you would stay in your marriage if your husband is cheating on you and is beating you? Yes, you could stick on even if he does. You, you might take certain precautions, but just stick to the marriage. Precautions like what? Maybe if your husband is cheating, for you not to be, um, let me say, for you not to, not to not cheat as well, you could just avoid him and stick to your children and just, just stick, stick to the family. I believe in family. Is avoiding him not separating from him? Are you not separating the sex from him? Yeah, but the, you, you guys still have that marital bound. That, that thing called marriage is still binding you together, so it's better than being divorced. So you think under no circumstances a woman should divorce her husband? Yes. Alright, you've heard it all. You've heard the rat poison advice, you've heard the leave him advice, you've heard the separate from him advice. Women have said what they think. <sighs> it still ends up with cheating. Beating is not accepted in the midst of Nigerian women. I don't know what to say. I feel bad about it. I'm a dear ladies, no pata box has come.
Please come for a second. For what? Um, just I need to talk to you. Thank you. 